Hello beautiful people, you're welcome to MJ Apparel Tutorial and in today's tutorial I'll be teaching you how I made this beautiful bustier with a Queen Anne neckline. It is so simple, detailed and beginner friendly. So if this looks like what you really wish to learn, please watch till the end. And if today is your first time on this channel, please click on the subscribe button and also don't forget to like, share and drop a comment. So first we'll be drafting the bustier and the first thing I'll go ahead to do is to draw a straight horizontal line at the top here which is going to serve as the shoulder line. Next I'll go ahead to insert the vertical measurement which is my shoulder to the bust point, shoulder to the under bust and shoulder to the waist. After marking those points I'll go ahead to draw a straight horizontal line like you see me doing in the video. Next, I'll go ahead to label this part as BP, which is the bust point, UB under bust, and half length. The next thing I'm going to go ahead to do is to insert half of the shoulder measurement on the shoulder line. So I'm going to be marking my shoulder divided by two on this line and mark. After marking, I'll come down by one inch for the shoulder slope. Next, I'm going to go ahead to insert my armhole depth at this point. So you divide your armhole by two. Next, I'm going to go ahead to draw a straight line this way and also I'll draw a straight horizontal line this way and label this part as CH which is the chest line. The next I'm going to go ahead to do is to insert the waist that and in doing that I'll be marking half of my nipple to nipple measurement on the half length line and also on the bust point line. After marking, I'll connect the two points together using a vertical line like you see me doing in the video. Next I'll be taking out my dart and I'll be using 2 inch for the dart. I'll be marking 0.5 inch on this center part and 1.5 inch on the side part. I'll do the same thing on the under bust also. After marking, I'll draw a a straight vertical line like you see me doing in the video. So next I'll be coming down by one inch from the bust point line. This is done so that there will be room for the bust to fit in properly. Next I'll connect it to the under bust using the curved part of my ruler like this. So after taking out the dart, the next thing to do is to measure what you have between the bust point and the under bust and you take it up. So here I have 3.5, I'm going to be marking the 3.5 upward this way but I'll be adding 0.5 inch because I want it to be a little bit covered but you can maintain whatever you have between the bust point and the under bust. Next I'll go ahead to extend my nipple to nipple line this way. After doing this, the next thing I'm going to go ahead to do is to tighten the over bust and in doing that I'm going to be marking 0.75 on both sides this way. After marking it, I'll connect back to the boss point using my ruler like this. So after tightening the overbust, the next thing I'm going to go ahead to do is to insert the bust measurement on the chest line before I draw the front armhole. So I'm going to be marking my bust divided by 4 on the chest line this way. After marking it, I'll go ahead to measure what I have on this dart area and I'll replace it on the side this way. Next, I'll go ahead to draw the front armhole. And in drawing the front armhole, the first thing I'll be doing is to divide whatever I have on my armhole depth by 2. After dividing it by 2, I'll be going in by 0.5 inch this way. Then I'll go ahead to connect with my ruler like you see me doing. So after drawing the armhole, the next thing to do is to draw the sweetheart neckline and in doing that you can decide to maintain the chest line here or come down or go up depending on how revealing you want it to be but for me I'm going to be going up by 0.5 inch. Next I'll connect to this first dart leg using my curved ruler this way. After connecting it like this, next I'm going to go ahead to connect this other dart leg to my armhole using the curved part of my ruler like this. 
after which i'll go ahead to close up the dart area completely so this is what we are going to be having for the sweetheart neckline the next thing i'm going to go ahead to do is to insert my waist measurement on the waistline so i'll be marking my waist divided by four on the waistline then i'll take out this dart intake i took here i'll be replacing it on the side after doing that i'll connect with my ruler like you see me doing in the video Next, I'll go ahead to mark a sewing allowance of 1.5 inch on the chest line and on the waist line and I'll connect with my ruler also like this. So the next thing I'm going to go ahead to do is to draw the neck width and the neck depth. So I'm going to be using 3 inch for the neck width. After marking it, I'll go ahead to draw the shoulder slope. After doing the shoulder slope, the next thing to do is to determine the placement of the Queen Anne neckline. So for me, I'll be maintaining this second dart leg here. You can decide to place it any area around this part here, depending on how you want it to be. So I'll connect to the neck width this way using my ruler. So after connecting, this is what we are going to be having. The next thing I'm going to go ahead to do is to cut it out. So after cutting, this is what it is going to look like. The next thing I'm going to go ahead to do is to draft the back. So for the back, it's going to be a simple back with a high neck. So I'm going to go ahead to draw my horizontal line at the top line this way. Next, I'll go ahead to mark my zipper allowance of 1.5 inch all the way down. After marking, I'll connect the point with my ruler like you see me doing in the video. The next thing I'm going to go ahead to do is to insert the vertical measurement which is the shoulder to the bust point line and shoulder to the half length. After marking it, I'll draw a straight horizontal line like you see me doing in the video. So next, I'm going to go ahead to insert half of the shoulder measurement on the shoulder line. So I'm going to be marking my shoulder divided by 2 on the shoulder line, starting from this part where the zipper allowance top. So I'll be marking my shoulder divided by 2 at this point. Next, I'll come down by 1 inch for the shoulder slope. After coming down by 1 inch, I'll go ahead to insert the armhole depth this way. Then I'll go ahead to draw a straight line like this. So this part here is going to serve as the chest line. The next thing I'm going to go ahead to do is to insert my bust divided by 4 on the chest line plus my string allowance. On the waist, I'll be inserting the waist divided by 4 plus 1 inch for that and my sewing allowance. After marking, I'll connect it like this. Next, I'll go ahead to draw the back armhole. After drawing the back armhole, the next thing I'll be doing is to insert the waist that and in doing that, I'm going to be marking half of the nipple to nipple measurement on the half length line and also on the chest line. After marking, I'll connect the point together using my ruler like this. Next, I'll take out a dart of 0.5 inch on both sides. After taking it out, I'll connect back to the chest line this way. So next, I'll go ahead to draw the neck width and the neck depth. So for the back, I'm going to be using the same neck width I used for the front, but I'm going to be using a neck depth of 1.5 inch because the back is going to be a high neck. After connecting it this way, I'll go ahead to draw a simple round neck like you see me doing in the video, after which I'll draw the shoulder slope. So you can decide to make the back, you can decide to add whatever design you want to add to the back, like a keyhole design or whatever you want but the neck area should be high because the front is already open and when the back is too open the style is not going to come out well the next i'm going to go ahead to do is to cut it out
So after cutting, this is what it is going to look like. Next, I'm going to go ahead to do is to cut my fabric using the pattern that was drafted. So here, I've gone ahead to cut my fabric using the pattern that was drafted, and I added 0.5 inch sewing allowance on this area like this, and on the on the yoke part that is this part i added 0.5 inch allowance on all these parts like this so the next i'm going to go ahead to do is to attach my wording to it so after padding it with the wording, this is what it is going to look like the next i'm going to go ahead to do is to join the side to the center panel and in doing that i'm going to be placing it this way making sure the good face is facing the good face then i'll go over my sewing machine to start sewing when sewing you start sewing from the lower part down to the upper part i'll quickly do that after doing that i'll come back to show you the next step and i'll also be joining my lining also So after attaching the side to the center panel, this is what we are going to be having. And I also did the same thing to the lining. I did not pad the lining because I'm using a medium size wording for it. That is why I didn't pad the lining. The next I'm going to go ahead to do is to attach the shoulder part to the bust here. So here I have the shoulder part. When cutting, you're going to be cutting both the lining and the main facing. So I have four pieces on this part. Before attaching the shoulder to the bust here, the first thing to do is is to go over the sewing machine and finish up this part that is the neck area the part that is going to be on the neck area i'm going to go ahead to sew it out then i'll come back to show you what to do next so after finishing up the neckline this is what is going to look like the next thing i'm going to go ahead to do is to attach it to the bust here so before attaching it to the bust here, make sure you take note of where it's going to be so for me it is this part where the center meets the side so i'm going to be turning it over this way then i'll go over my sewing machine to sew it and i'll be doing the same thing for this other part also so i'll quickly do that after doing that i'll come back to show you what it looks like so i've gone ahead to attach the shoulders to the bust here and this is what it is going to look like so when cutting it make sure you take note of where the shoulder is so you place it well the next i'm going to go ahead to do is to attach my lining to it and in doing that first i'm going to be taking the shoulder in this way then i'll place my lining on it like this making sure that the good face is facing the good face of my fabric after doing this i'll go over my sewing machine to finish up the neckline so i'm going to sew the neckline this way after doing that i'll also close up the side then i'll come back to show you what it looks like so i went ahead to attach the lining to the bust here and this is what it's going to look like and this is what the inner part is going to look like as you can see it's looking so neat and looking so beautiful already so the next thing i'm going to go ahead to do is to work on the back of the bust here so here I have the back of the bust here. So the first thing I'm going to go ahead to do is to finish up the neckline and the zipper area. And in doing that, I'm going to be placing it this way. So here I have both the lining and the main fabric I'll be using. So I'll go over my sewing machine to finish up the neckline, the zipper area and the side. After doing that, I'll come back to show you what it looks like. So after finishing up the neckline and the zipper area, this is what we are going to be having. Next, I'm going to go ahead to join the back to the front of the bust here. So here I have the front of the bust here. So I'll go ahead to join the front to the back this way. I'll close up the shoulder, then I'll close up the side. After doing that, I'll come back to show you the final result of the gown. So here we have the final look of the gown looking so beautiful and very lovely. As you can see, it's very simple to make and you can also go ahead to give it a trial. So if you are yet to subscribe to this channel, please click on the subscribe button if this video was helpful to you. And also turn on the notification bell so you get notified whenever I post a new video. And also don't forget to like and share. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in my next tutorial.